Hello everybody and welcome to the Raycasting Game Maker tutorials from the MisplacedMinds.com. In this tutorial, we will be building a basic two-level game, and here in this tutorial, we will not be discussing how to import our own characters or walls or sprites. We'll just be using the stock items given by the software itself first let's look at let's have a look at the interface this huge block which you are currently viewing is the level editor here you will be building the levels and on the left side you will be uh, see you will be seeing and these are the in-game items like walls, sprites, enemies and all. I mean you can place up to 5 enemies and 10 sprites but of course in the stock version you will be only getting one. You can put your own elements, entities and all. First of all let's select a wall and draw it using the left mouse button and to delete it and to delete a block right click okay whoa next draw a small wall small passage actually kind of this would be ideal yep One more wall. Delete. Now we'll place doors to move from one room to another. A next level door, which will either take you to the next level or if there is no next level then that will be the end of the game, you have won the game player, right here weapon let's give him a weapon well fine you'll have to the player will have to take a key if he wants to go to the next level if, there is, if he hasn't taken a key he cannot go to the next level fine some health, yes, here and here that's good and Fine, ammunition. Ammunition is always needed. Yes. Okay, now we'll place the enemies. Done. We'll save the world as level 1. Here you can create a game up to maximum of 20 levels and we'll have to save a level in the level number I mean you cannot uh, save a level in a random or as a random number and later integrate them I mean if this is going to be the level 1 of your game then you will have to save it as level 1 itself ok we place uh, we'll just have a look at the settings game settings ok window title misplaced minds you can even have a god mode window or full screen you can use shader or not I'll show you what is the difference between using a shader and not using a shader and here we have already set the maximum levels to 2 and yep enemies enemy setup ok animations is not the thing we are gonna look for right now uh, yes enemy 1 no enemy 1 cannot shoot because this enemy or this character does not have a weapon its hand. I mean yes you can place them. That's a different uh, issue. The speed of it, the endurance, endurance let's set it to 5. Mm, we'll make the game tougher. Power 5. Okay. Done. Weapon settings. Well, start ammunition must be 15. That's up to you. I mean that's up to the 
choice of the developer in the or the player well you can cycle weapons using any of the key well I've play I'll be putting A for that here you can have the option show bullet or not yes then okay there's this info text so here if there is no full screen if you if the game is running in the windowed mode then you can see this info text Okay, so now let's create the game. Uh, this is a pretty simple engine. Well, let's name it Demo. Now let's execute it. Let's play it. Yep, here it is. Uh, sound settings, you can change them to whatever you want to. New game. So here we are, we have created our first level in the Recasting Game Maker. Well, let's take this up. our first level now let's create another level fine make a room randomly well there's a small thing each of you must remember I mean here even if you leave some gaps while making the level it's okay because these are the borders so as long as these borders are covered, you can even leave the level as it is. But never ever leave these borders empty. Well of course, even if you leave them, nothing is going to happen because the editor is not going to save or run the level. Let me show you. Fine. Player. Okay next level is going to be somewhere here health ok ammunition a lot is needed weapon ok let's create a game ok save the level again wait a sec we haven't placed enemies right hmm nice a key right here in front of everybody doors here one thing you must have observed that it's door it's written as door 2 in the previous level when we have designed it was door 1 I mean you can set only one door per level ok now let's save the level 2 done Quit game. Look, it shows an error. World well, is not completely surrounded by walls. So what you can do here is just fix it up and save the world again. And now, one second. Here, previously have not used the shader. Now we'll use the shader to see the difference. Okay, let's replace the demo. Go to exe, execute. Observed any change? Shaders they work a lot. Well, this is the first level. To play it again. <laughs> I 
hid behind me. Oh my god. So here we have designed a game completely. Well, one good thing about Raycasting Game Maker is that you can literally customize every single thing in your game. I mean, from the crosshair to the cursor or the menu or the walls, sprites, weapons, and characters, you can literally customize anything, anything here. So that's it for today. In the next video, we'll be showing you how to create your own menus, how to import your own in-game items, and how to create, how to import your own game icon, and a few more features. Till then, goodbye.